welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Nami, the Tide Caller. Nami is a water-based offensive support champion who provides increased damage and crowd control capabilities to her team. Whether buffing a teammate's damage output or helping them lead the charge, Nami can help your team ride on a wave of glory. Nami's passive is Surging Tides. Anytime one of her abilities hits an allied champion, including herself, her target briefly enjoys bonus movement speed. Aqua Prison launches a bubble that splashes at target location, damaging and knocking up all enemies it hits. Additionally, it will apply Surging Tides to your teammates, meaning you can haste a friend or knock up an enemy. In solo lanes, Nami should max Aqua Prison first. Otherwise, take just one point and leave it for last. Ebb and Flow bounces, alternating between allied and enemy champions, damaging enemies and healing allies. Ebb and Flow can only hit any target once and hits up to three times. Because of this, you'll need to choose between getting two heals by targeting an ally or damaging twice by targeting an enemy. Nami should max Ebb and Flow first when playing in paired lanes, or max second when played as a solo. Tidecaller's Blessing buffs an allied champion for a few seconds, causing their basic attacks to deal bonus magic damage and slow their target. Nami should take a point in Tidecaller's Blessing early, and look to max it after Ebb and Flow. Tidal Wave is Nami's ultimate. Tidal Wave crashes forward, damaging, knocking up, and slowing all enemies it encounters. As Tidal Wave passes over Nami's teammates, it also applies Surging Tides, helping them chase down their enemies. Like all ultimates, Nami should max Tidal Wave as soon as possible. In paired lanes, focus on harassing with basic attacks into ebb and flow. Think about whether you need the third bounce to heal or deal damage. Aim at the enemy champions if you want to deal more damage, or first target an ally if you'd rather have two heals. Nami's abilities all work well together when coordinating a gank. She applies Tide Color's Blessing on herself, slowing Katarina. This makes it easy for Udyr to catch up, and once he does, Aqua Prison makes Katarina an easy kill for Ebb and Flow. Nami's allies can become gateways for Ebb and Flow. While the enemy Tide Caller is out of range, Nami targets Lulu with Ebb and Flow, bouncing to the enemy champion for damage. Nami's core focuses should be to grant Tide Caller's Blessing to the main attacker, Ebb and Flow whenever possible, and lead slowed enemies with Aqua Prison. When executed perfectly, you can make extremely quick work of your foes. Extended engagements are Nami's specialty. After taking some initial damage, Ebb and Flow puts Nami back in good condition before Aqua Prison and Tidecaller's Blessing grant Vayne some easy damage onto Leona. As Vayne chases, Nami sits near the back to wait for cooldowns. Ebb and Flow once again tops Vayne off while another Tidecaller's Blessing helps her continue the assault onto the opposition. Finally, as she goes for the final kill, Aqua Prison into a second Ebb and Flow makes sure Vayne survives the turret dodge. Tidal Wave allows Nami to initiate fights from extremely far away. After her team finishes up the dragon, Tidal Wave connects with the enemy Leona. The huge slow makes it incredibly easy to land Aqua Prison, granting her team a quick kill. Ramus is then forced to flash away and initially makes it out of the fight. However, Tidecaller's Blessing helps Gangplank catch up and apply a significant slow to keep Ramus from running, while Aqua Prison keeps Garen and Graves from counterattacking. Nami is the queen of chasing down fleeing enemies and picking up kill after kill. Nami hastes her allies with Tidal Wave, also splitting up the enemy team. This allows them to collapse in the enemy Tide Collar and pick up a quick first kill. As Warwick and Jax chase in, Aqua Prison plus Ebb and Flow grant Sivir some distance. Tide Collar's Blessing is then placed onto Udyr, which prevents any of their opponents from escaping, making the fight a 3 for 1 trade. After Jax falls, Katarina makes the mistake of trying to help. A quick Tide Collar's Blessing into Ebb and Flow makes sure Udyr catches up and takes her down. Now they turn their attention to Graves underneath his turret. Udyr leads the charge as Nami follows in from behind. Tidecaller's Blessing grants a great slow while Ebb and Flow keeps her team healthy in the fight. Ultimately, Graves has nowhere to go as Udyr constantly catches back up for the team's fifth kill. Here's an example build to get you started on Nami, which focuses on supporting a teammate in lane while harassing the opposition. Take attack damage marks, armor seals, magic resist glyphs, and gold generating quintessences. Run 0921 masteries, taking health and armor in defense, plus masteries like gold generation and cooldown reduction in utility. Bring Heal or Exhaust and Flash for Summoner spells, allowing you to keep your team alive, neutralize enemies, and reposition yourself in teamfights. Thanks for tuning in to the NAMI Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and leave us your comments just below the video.